Hi guys, we're here at Big Bear Bikes in Pickering, North Yorkshire to check out the Trek Marlin for 2023. Um, we're here with Al from the sales team. Hi guys. And Al's gonna walk us through what makes this Trek's best selling mountain bike. Um, so let's start with that. It is hugely popular here in the shop, right? It is. But yeah. also across the whole of the UK, it's the yeah. best selling mountain bike. So, across so, the world. So. Oh, across the world. So why yeah. is that? It's versatile. Right. Yeah, it's a really versatile um, entry into mountain biking or into commuting or the whole world of just having a bike to do anything on. Really popular amongst our customers for all of that sort of stuff. Um, we sell it to families, you know, across the kids and the, and the mums and dads. Um, if you want a bike to go to work on, that sort of stuff. Um, also a little bit of trail riding up in the forestry, getting into a bit more mountain biking, that sort of stuff. Got the bike for you with that as well. That um, sounds like quite a brief trying to please all those people. So that's yeah. pretty incredible. Yeah. What, what makes it so versatile? Uh, frame size. So right. this bike comes in at extra, extra small, all the way up to extra, extra large. Right. So we find, you know, parents come in after a bike for their uh, son or daughter and we often put them on a small Marlin because that kind of age bracket, maybe like 10 to 12 years old, they've outgrown the kids' bikes and they're onto this sort of thing the now. first proper mountain bike. Yeah, yeah, and you know, you get a lot more growing time. They might be just onto this, but then they're gonna grow into it as well. Yeah. So, and that's what parents want. They don't want to be buying yeah, so bikes every year. Spending good money, right, wisely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, so that's, it's great for the kids, playing out on the streets, going into the woods with the mates, perfect for that sort of stuff. Perfect for the mum and dad who want to go on the occasional family ride on a weekend. Yeah. They also maybe want to use the bike for going to work on. Yeah. Great for that sort of stuff. Or if you're the person who just wants to get into a bit of mountain biking, not go gnarly, but a bit of light trails in the forest, on the moors, bit of road mixed in as well. Perfect for that. So yeah, good versatile bike um, to cover everyone. Fantastic. Yeah. So if we just walk through the bike then, Alan, I know we always do this on our videos, don't yeah. we? If we just walk through specifically the components on the bike that people will be interested in that make it fit for purpose, really. Yeah, yeah. Should we start with the wheels and the tyres? Because they're yeah. new for 2023, right? Yeah, so this is the new generation, Marlin. Um, they've tweaked a couple of bits with the bike. Um, one, making the tyres slightly wider. And then they've also updated the geometry of the bike a little bit. So it's a little bit longer and a little bit slacker. So a longer and slacker bike um, makes it a bit more capable off road a bit more comfortable, a bit more confident, inspiring. Um, also, the wider tyres are going to do that. Yeah. More traction. More grip, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, it's a wider tyre, but it's not a big, burly off-road tyre. Okay. Um, it's still a fast rolling tread. Um, so if you are using it for multi-purpose sort of stuff, maybe on the tarmac, going to work, going around town. It's no, not going to feel too heavy. No, it's not going to feel sluggish. It'll still feel like a nice, lightweight bike to pedal. Yeah. But when you're in the forest and you want a bit of traction on the trails, it'll... it'll you know, give you the grip that you need. Yeah. Um, so I'm conscious that with Marlin, we've talked about the sizes, extra small to extra large, and it yeah. really is a bike for all people doing all things. Yeah. Um, where does it come in from a price point of view? Where does the range start and where does the range finish? Um, so the new generation starts at the Marlin 6 yeah. um, and goes up to a Marlin 8. Okay. Um, so it starts at about the 760 pounds yeah. for the Marlin 6. Yeah. Um, you're just over a thousand pounds on the Marlin 8. Yeah. Uh, and the things that change is, is the frame is the same, nice aluminium frame on the mall, but it's the spec. Um, that so should we change. walk through the spec of this? This yeah. is the Marlin 6, isn't it? So this it? is the 6. Um, so great spec for kind of the entry point. Um, you get a 1x11 uh, Shimano Dior drivetrain group set. So nice, reliable, smooth shifting gears on that. Um, easy to use, you don't have a front derailleur, so you've just got the one, the one chainring on the front, yep. which makes the bike slightly lighter, simpler. You've only got the gears to think about on, on the one side of the handlebar. Internal cable routing, so it yep. looks really clean, looks Neat, really nice. Tidy. You're not gonna have the wear and tear that you no, would have. Yeah. No, exactly that. Um, and yeah, it's just a nice reliable group set, really. Um, you've got the hydraulic disc brakes still yep. on, on this as well. So Which, whether it's yourself with your commute or the trails or yep. actually your kids, yep. you know, from a safety point reliable, of view. Reliable, yeah, powerful absolutely. brakes, um, so nice and safe on that. And then our suspension fork, I know it's so we've got an SR Suntor so, XCT on this. That's yes, a spring fork, right? It is. Um, so it's not it's not the best fork in the world, but it'll do the things that you need it to do if you're just doing a bit of light trails. It's about comfort and yeah. a little bit of it's light It's going to provide it? that. It's going to provide comfort. Yeah. Um, there's obviously better forks out there on the market, but that's going to do the job for what this bike is designed for. Yeah. And obviously, if you're wanting to do a bit more um, off-road, you would look at maybe specking up onto the Marlin 8, which comes with an air fork. Right, okay. Um, so differences between air and spring forks. Um, 
is obviously massive adjustability in air. You can set it to your rider weight, yeah. um, so it feels it suit, it's tailored to you. Then yeah. um, it's gonna it's gonna respond to your rider weight. Whereas that is just a spring that's just a rough average of, of a weight range that they expect to be on that that bike. So you said that the specification, the group set's gonna change as we go up the range. Yeah. The fork you've just mentioned there. Do you say a rock shock fork? Um, as you go so the on this is the uh, the SRT Suntor. Yeah. Um, on the Marlin 7, you go up to a rock shock fork. Yeah. So a nicer quality fork, yeah. but again, it's still a spring. Yeah. You've got the lockout feature on both. Okay. But then when you go to the eight, it's an air fork. Right. Um, so rock shock air fork with lockout. So um, that's that's your premium option. What does that mean in terms of the group set then as we start stepping? So up? you go up to 12 speed. Okay. Um, on the eight. Uh, on the 7, you'll still get 11 speed, yeah. um, but it'll go up to like SLX XT. Yeah. And then you go up to uh, SRAM, uh, I think it's NX you'll be getting on yeah. the on the 8, uh, 12 speed. So a bit more gearing uh, and a bit lighter weight. Yeah. And then obviously one of the cool things, I think anyway, on the Marlin for this year is the fact that you can add a dropper post. You can. Yeah, so on last year's um, version, Gen 2, you couldn't get the dropper post internally routed through the frame. So yeah. it was an option, but obviously, External cabling is going to go down the frame up there. It's going to be a bit more exposed to the elements and doesn't look as nice. Yeah. So on the new model, they've let you know internal cable route in for the dropper. So that's a, that's a nice feature that comes standard on the Marlin 8. Um, so if you are looking at the more focused mountain bike um, to maybe do a bit more in the woods, you know, better fork and a dropper post on the 8. And the other thing is tyres change on the 8 as well to a tubeless tyre setup. So it does away with the inner tubes and basically comes ready set up with a tyre sealant in there. So that's a liquid yeah. and that's obviously going to help with punctures. Yeah. So they virtually have eliminate punctures. That's quite virtually good. eliminate. Yeah, well, yeah. I had that myself recently. It's yeah. a, a cracking setup. The, um, so there you have it, guys. So this is the Trek Marlin. It's a versatile bike. It's Trek's best selling mountain bike in the world. There's a reason for that, as Al's explained. There's a range of options. It's accessible, it's affordable. Um, and obviously, if you a, want to spec it out, fun, you can. It's a fun bike. Yeah. It's a fun, versatile bike. Um, lightweight and yeah definitely definitely come check it out if you want to have a test ride on any of these bikes in the shop um, we've got the full range in all sizes on the shop floor so come and have a little try have a demo we'll see you in the shop soon yeah great stuff cheers Thank you.